What's up guys, my name is Wild Leprechauns, and today I have a very dry throat right now, and I've drank some water and stuff, still not clear enough, don't know if I'm getting sick or whatever. So hopefully you can deal with my voice sounding a little bit different than normal. But anyway, I wanted to say that I'm making a video today to talk about some tips and stuff that I have to win gunfights in Black Ops 2, and overall improve your skill in the game. I'm only going to give you, I think, five tips today, because uh, that's probably all I could fit into the video right now. But if you want to see more tips and tricks, you can always just leave comments saying so, and I will definitely consider it, and if I get enough comments, I'll definitely make a video for you guys. So the first thing I want to say, this is my first tip, is get to know the weapon's advantages and disadvantages, because every weapon in this game has an advantage and a disadvantage. For example, with the assault rifles, they have a really good mid-range ability. However, when you get to close quarters, most of them kind of damper off in their effectiveness. They do more damage up close, but they still don't really have the fire rate to compete with SMGs or shotguns. In a similar sense, you don't want to be using shotguns as sniper rifles, as they are really two distinct categories, and you don't want to be trying to sh like mash them together and put the shotguns into the role of a sniper or a sniper into the role of a shotgun, as it's not going to really work out for you. Now... My second tip is if you're losing a lot of head-to-head -head gunfights, try looking at some of the attachments you could possibly put on your weapon. For example, if you're using an assault rifle, the quick draw handle is very, very useful in being able to be the first one on target in a head-to-head -head gunfight. It improves your aim on sights time by a significant amount, where I think it almost cuts it in half, which is very, very helpful on pretty much anything you put it on. It's not available for snipers, however, which is kind of disappointing because you can't quickscope such as easily as you could in former games and stuff, but they made it so you have it on assault rifles and stuff, and that's good enough for me. Now, the next attachment I would recommend is the stock attachment, as it allows you to strafe enemies by it increasing your movement speed up to normal percent. Whatever your normal speed is on that weapon, you should be able to move at that while strafing now, while aiming down your sights, which is always helpful because it allows you to avoid bullets while putting bullets on range and pretty much you're going to be like a little guy slipping on the ice avoiding bullets and stuff which overall I think that's a very hard target to shoot at and it's very frustrating when somebody with stock comes after me because I really just can't get my accuracy on them and speaking of accuracy we've come to my part th the uh, tip number three and that is play some combat training if you're having trouble with accuracy because that's probably one of the best features they put in this game if you have trouble aiming and stuff. Just use the combat training to your advantage. As it, if you play the offline combat training in the custom games, it doesn't affect your stats at all. So you can change your sensitivities, get used to the different weapons and stuff, and find out setups you like and enjoy, and find sensitivities that are helpful for your accuracy in aiming. And now, another tip that I have, this is my fourth tip, is get used to the maps you're playing on. And you, this could be done by either playing online multiplayer, which could be a good uh, a good idea. But more often than not, I would like to play combat training as you kind of get used to the maps and it doesn't affect your statistics at all. When the game first came out, I hopped into multiplayer and kind of disregarded combat training. But now that I look back, I kind of regret not hopping into combat training. As combat training does not affect your stats at all when you're playing either online or in the uh, custom games. In custom games, however, you get everything unlocked, so I think that's the better version of combat training. But it doesn't matter, whichever one you prefer. But it's very helpful for allowing you to level up if you're playing the online, and it helps you get better with your accuracy and just overall gameplay. And one thing I'm going to say about the combat training is don't always play against recruit bots, because although it might be fun to go like 100 and 0, you gotta get used to playing with actual people skill bots. So you might want to raise it to regular, hardened if you think so, maybe even veteran if you're like a champion of the game. I know I can't be veteran bots like impossible. But if you feel like up, you're up to the challenge and you've already accomplished playing against recruit bots and stuff, then just raise the difficulty and it can easily help you become more aware and better with the maps and just accuracy overall. Now my fifth tip and last tip for this video is going to be Get used to your playstyle and figure out playstyles that actually work for you. If you're using like a shotgun and stuff, you're not going to be wanting to run into head-on-head -head gunfights all the time because even though your gun could potentially kill in one shot if you're up close, you're more often than not going to end up getting a hit marker if you're at a far range. And if you have to pump that shotgun again, you could be dead in between the pumps. 
So my recommendation to you guys is, when you're playing with certain weapons, adjust your playstyle accordingly. You don't want to be using snipers and stuff in ways they're not supposed to be used. I'm pretty much out of time now, guys. Just wanted to say, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, comments, readings, all that stuff's appreciated. So yeah, guys, bye.